Hey, what's up, YouTube? So earlier today, Apple held their annual Worldwide Developer Conference at which they not only announced macOS Mojave, but also iOS 12. And once the event concluded, they released the first beta iteration of the firmware to registered developers. I have said firmware installing on my iPhone 6 right here, and in the background I just have the iOS 12 logo. While this is installing, I just want to let everybody know what this video is going to be about. I'm going to do a hands-on run-through of some of the major new features of the operating system. So if you're interested in learning how it's theoretically possible to install iOS 12 beta 1 onto a device that isn't registered through an iOS developer account, just be sure to check that video out. I will have a link down in the description below. Also, as of recording this video, iOS 11.3.1 is still being signed for those of you who are intending on jailbreaking your device. This device here in the background is actually currently jailbroken on 11.1.2 and I will be updating it very shortly after recording this video. I just wanted to get this video out on iOS 12 as soon as possible, but as you guys can see, it is still installing. So once that's done, we'll get right into the walkthrough. But first up, I just wanted to talk about compatibility. Now, iOS 12 will be available to be installed on any device that can run iOS 11, like the iPhone 5S or iPhone 6 in this case in today's video. So for those iPhone 5S users out there, you'll be glad to hear there is an astonishing sixth year of support that's coming to your devices. Now, iOS 12 will be launching to the public this September, but like Tanner highlighted in his video, it is theoretically possible to get the developer beta today. So while this is installing, just a quick recap of the new features of iOS 12 from this year's WWDC keynote. iOS 12 is primarily going to be focusing on speed and performance and fine tuning the OS. But most impressive to me is that Surrey is going to be receiving some major new updates. A new app coming to stock iOS is called the Shortcuts app, allowing users to create Surrey shortcuts with third party apps. Now, from first appearance, when watching the keynote, it looks like this app is going to be just like IFTTT, but in this case, it's going to be stock for iOS, meaning it's going to be built in directly to the operating system. You can create custom Surrey commands to activate a variety of things in iOS and third-party apps. There's a ton of updates to the Photos, News, Stocks, and iBooks app. CarPlay adds third-party app support for navigation apps like Google Maps and Waze. And there's an all-new Do Not Disturb mode. Notifications have received some major updates. There's new emojis, new animojis, and something new called Me Emoji, which is basically an animoji of your own face. And what surprised me the most is we are actually getting group FaceTime. We can group up to 32 other people in a single conversation within iOS. So in today's video, I'll be doing a hands-on walkthrough of these new features, so stick around for the rest of this video. Once my iOS 12 beta has installed, I will be right back and get into the depth of this video and let you guys see hands-on what is new and what I can really take advantage of on my iPhone 6. All right, so guys, are you ready for this? This is the first look at iOS 12 beta in its true form. I'm just gonna click the home button says, press home to finish setting up iOS 12. That is awesome. You know what, I'll actually just leave this right front and center for now. We'll just go through, see if it has me go through anything. Might just take me to the home screen. Nope, it has me go through everything else again. So, but as you guys can see, the setup process looks pretty similar. I'm kind of curious if anything else will have changed. All right, that is it. Welcome to iPhone. That is the update process. All right, very nice. So the home screen looks pretty similar. I'm actually really surprised that the background is still iOS 11, but let's go ahead and look at what is new. The wallpaper should be the iOS 12 wallpaper. Of course we have it. It probably just didn't update it. Let's set it both. And then let's take a look at what the home screen looks like with the new iOS 12 wallpaper. That looks really freaking sweet, guys. Not gonna lie, I really like this look already. All right, so while we're going through this review, um, I'm gonna have to adjust my screen, one second. All right, so now we are back up and running. So just for comparison's sakes, I figured I'd have an iPhone running iOS 11.4 right here, and then one running iOS 12 beta one. So we can do a side-by-side -side comparison at looking at the differences. So first off, I know the news app has received some major updates. So let's just go ahead and launch that and see what is happening. Now this is an iPhone 6 and this is a 6S. So the one on the right will be faster. That's not really determining iOS 12's performance. 
but it's more so just to get a comparison, like I was saying. I wish I had an extra 6S I could test out iOS 12 on for you guys, but unfortunately we're stuck with the 6. Granted, it might be a good idea to see how fast this performs on the 6 or an older device if you are coming from a 5S or a 6 to see if iOS 12 is going to increase the speed or not for you. So yeah, as you guys can see, slight changes in the title right here. Whole new entire different bottom bar layout. Here we have today Spotlight and Browse instead of For You Spotlight following Search and Save. So a lot more simplistic. Take a look at what the Spotlight gives us. This looks pretty sweet. I honestly don't even use the news apps too often, so I'm pretty unfamiliar with it in the first place, but I might have to give it a second shot. This looks pretty sweet over here. So actually, the first thing I do notice is the bottom bar is entirely different again. So now we have photos for you, albums, and search instead of photos, memories, shared, and albums on iOS 11. So that's really interesting. Albums are now horizontal instead of vertical in the Photos app. So I know there's a couple more features in the Photos app. I don't think I will be able to really demonstrate them in this video. But again, this is more so just a first impressions, hands-on walkthrough with things you might notice when first installing the OS. So, covered the news app, covered the photos app, let's take a look at the stock app, because that was another big one that Apple was talking about in the presentation. So now the stock app has a welcome to stock splash screen compared to iOS 11. Again, this one was just freshly restored. I haven't opened up any of the apps yet, so that is really interesting. So again, I like the title at the top. It really matches Apple's design style for the rest of its app. New news and top stories found within the Stocks app. Let's see if I click. You, <laughs> The detail is just ridiculous. It's so much nicer in iOS 12. The Stock app, now you can sort by day, month, year, etc. Per stock, that looks really cool. Honestly, the Stocks app might actually be useful now within iOS 12. As you guys can see, the voice memos actually has an all new logo. That looks really sweet. I like the black and red recording icon there compared to the white one. That looks pretty sweet. All right, so this is the new voice memos app. It really matches the design style of iOS 11 compared to this, which was pretty, pretty outdated in my opinion. Um, let's go ahead and click record just to see the differences. Now we have a red recording icon down at the bottom. That is a sweet look of the app. I'm not going to lie, I'm really liking the new voice memos and it looks entirely different where the recordings are stored. This one, I'm not even sure where this one's going yet. I think I have to hit done and then save it. This one automatically saved it and put in my geolocation. That's interesting. And yeah, it automatically saved it. So instead of having to click save and give it a name, it's automatically saved now. So that's a nice, nice redesign. Again, the record button's on the bottom versus the top. I'm gonna have to, ins oh no, it is, it's on the first page. It's on the first page. There is a little bit different of an icon layout. That is pretty interesting, actually. What icon did they remove? There's an extra one here. Oh, they moved the TV app to the second page now. Ah, so that's a minor change. Nothing too crazy there, but yeah, let's go into iBooks and see what this looks like. So use iCloud, why not? Interesting, we have a new splash page to Apple Books. Excuse me, it's now called Apple Books. Sorry, that is something new. Of course, it's called Apple Books. It was rebranded at this year's WWDC. It's no longer iBooks. So yeah, we have this new splash screen. That looks awesome. Let's go ahead and hit continue. We have the Reading Now page, Library, Bookstore, Audiobooks. That looks sweet. So again, an all new navigation bar at the bottom, an entirely new UI for Apple Books now. All right, so for this next test, I'm just gonna send a ton of notifications from my computer over here and see what the difference is, what it looks like on 12 versus 11. So I will be right back and let's see what this looks like. So while we're on this topic of notifications, I went into the settings app and as you guys can see, the settings per app are just a little bit different. Now we have notification center, lock screen, and banners instead of temporary and persistent right here. As you guys can see, the whole entire layout has changed. And again, this is just under messages. I'm trying to figure out why my messages are not showing anywhere. So as you guys can see, it's blowing up my iPhone 11 screen, but for some reason I'm not getting anything on my iOS 12 device. But it is logged in. 
I'm getting new notifications over here, but nothing's displaying on the iOS 12 phone screen initially. I'm wondering if we'll have to enable it. I don't know why it's not showing in the notification center at all, even though it says my notifications are enabled for messages. So I'm not 100% sure why. It says grouping automatic. But yeah, I am not receiving any notifications. If I pull down my notification center, only the iBooks one is here. That looks a little different. That is really cool. So now, instead of just view and clear, we have manage view and clear and notifications. But again, it's supposed to group all of these messages into one little section. I'm not sure why it's not displaying correctly right now. Interesting. So I just noticed when I'm in the messages app, okay, so when I pull up a single thread right here, if I tap on my name, instead of going to this screen, these three icons pop up right here where I can audio call or FaceTime or just get info about my contacts. So I'm just going to hit info and then it brings up, oh, this brings up the little info page right there. So they kind of combined all three of those to either call FaceTime or get the info right there just by tapping on the top. Yeah, as you can see, the information icon right there is gone on iOS 12. Interesting. I really like that. That looks really sweet. So for whatever reason, I cannot get the notifications to show up within the notification center. As you guys can see, my iOS 11 device is just blowing up over here. But for whatever reason, I cannot get the message notifications to show up on iOS 12, even though I went into notifications and scrolled down to messages. And as you guys can see, messages are enabled. All right, so within the settings app, there's a few more things I wanted to talk about. I'm just discovering some of these minor changes as I'm going along, so I apologize for the poor organization of this video. Anyway, scrolling down right next to notification, as you guys can see, we have screen time right here. Nope, not do not disturb, but screen time. I'll go back to that in just a second. As you guys can see, this is what the app looks like hands-on. You can schedule some downtime. You can set some app limits. You can set some always allowed apps that you can use at any time, regardless of what limits you've set. And then you have content and privacy restrictions at the very bottom to block inappropriate content. Now, parents will love this feature that you can control all this on your children's iPad or iPhone. So it's really interesting. After just installing the iOS 12 beta, it's already counting up the minutes that I'm in so we have a whole new whole new organization right here control center has now moved from up here next to notifications so has sounds sounds has also been bumped up control center now is underneath general so the rest of it looks pretty much to be the same i guess we have voice memos here now excuse me that's a new little settings tab that we have so very quickly while i'm in the icloud section here I noticed that we now have stocks in the cloud as well. Now this is 11.3.1, so messages in the cloud is not present, but I can confirm it is there on the first beta of iOS 12 as well. As you guys can see, it just has a couple more options. Oh, and then we have books, stocks, and voice memos at the very bottom. So the three new features for iCloud right there on iOS 12. All right, so that is the iCloud settings. The last thing I wanted to look within the settings app was specifically under Surrey and search. So as you guys can see, this settings pane has received a complete UI overhaul. There are so many more settings that you have to enable, and it looks like we have the shortcuts option at the top. Now, I'm not sure why the shortcuts app did not come installed on this version of iOS 12 beta 1. We may have to wait for that in a future beta. But as you guys can see, it looks like we have some of the stock shortcuts available for us. So let's just take a look at this. So let's set this something really interesting and just very unique just for demonstration purposes. I'm going to say something like go to iCrack your iDevice. Go to iCrack your iDevice. All right. Now let's see if any of these things work. Now I actually haven't used Surrey on this phone. Okay, we're good. So I'm just going to cancel out of it real fast. All right. Let's try that last command that I have. Go to iCrack your iDevice. And that is absolutely incredible, guys. It opened up mail. So as you guys can see, you can set custom shortcuts for different topics here. It says my shortcuts too. I've created two. Now this should expand into an entire application 
not just within the settings app as you can see here there's only a couple we can choose from and make custom shortcuts for but as you guys can see, the rest of the Surrey settings are pretty much identical, aside from this new shortcuts feature. Again, I'm not sure why the shortcuts app is missing from iOS. I was really looking forward to that. That was like my favorite thing in the entire presentation, but unfortunately, it is not present on the first beta of iOS 12. Now, there are a couple more features I won't be able to demonstrate. One of the new features being some of the new Animojis and Me Emojis. Unfortunately, require an iPhone 10 running iOS 12, which I currently do not have. It is still installing, and I really just wanted to get this video out as soon as possible. But there are some new Animojis, which I'm displaying on screen right now from the keynote. The second major thing that I won't be able to demo just for lack of friends running the iOS 12 beta is group FaceTime. Now this is absolutely incredible. I am shocked that Apple got the okay to actually finally enable group FaceTime and they did it astonishingly. We can have up to 32 people in the conversation. And as you guys can see on the screen, when one person talks, their tile gets bigger. And when the next person proceeds to talk, their tile shrinks and then the person who is talking essentially gets the most screen space and at the bottom there's some more cards for all the people within your conversation but again guys this is just a refinement update anyway thank you guys for watching my video today on the very first beta of ios 12 that pretty much wraps up this video demonstrating some of the brand new features within ios 12 Again, there are a couple features I cannot demonstrate, like the Animojis, as my iPhone 10 is not running iOS 12 yet, and of course, group FaceTime, just for the lack of friends I have, running the iOS 12 beta. Anyway, guys, excuse those two features absences, but as you guys can see, I went through some of the major apps that received a refresh on iOS 12. The biggest thing that I was looking forward to are the shortcuts and the shortcuts app, which is unfortunately missing within the first beta. So I will have to bring you guys updates when we receive that app for the very first time. Alright, so that's just about it for this video. There's a ton of footage for me to edit, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button to show your support. Again, stay tuned for future WWDC 2018 and iOS 12 and jailbreak related videos to come, so don't forget to subscribe before you go. But until next time guys, this is Tony, signing out. Yeah.